and welcome to the Northwest Conference Championship Feet. We are at Bluffton University on the Bluffton Beavers Field. It is an incredibly windy day, but otherwise it is sunny and overcast, and we are ready to watch some great running. I'm Jennifer Beck with Jacob O'Neill, and we are excited to get started with the girls' 100-meter hurdles. Our track championships are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. In heat one of two, we have in lane two, Grace Lawrence of Ada. Lane three, Callie Cotter of Bluffton. Lane four, Grace Flutter Johan of Spencerville. Lane five, Mariah King of Ada. And lane six, Braley Welker of Lincoln View. And they are off and they are running. The first one over the track is in lane four. That's Flutter Johan. Take a look at her as she moves her way down the track. This is heat one of two, and everything here is timed, which means your time will get you your place. Winner of this first heat, lane four, Spencerville, the freshman. Heat two of two in the girls' 100-meter hurdles. In lane one, it's Grace Gokey of Spencerville, who finished third in this race last year. In lane two, it's Kendall Pulte of Columbus Grove. Three is Bree Clawson of Columbus Grove. Four is Morgan Apple of Lipstick, finished fourth last year. In lane five, your defending champion, Liv Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. In lane six, second place last year from Allen East, Ryland Jones. Lane seven, Aubrey Burkholder of Bluffton. And in lane eight, Lindsay Hatcher of Lincoln View. Watch the hurdles, and the first person to get over is that defending champion, Lindemann, being challenged right now by Ryland Jones. Two state qualifiers who are really decorated in track. And take a look at Liv Lindemann. She's going to defend her title. The senior from Delphus Jefferson is the champion in the girls' 100-meter hurdles. Moving to event number 14. This is the boys' 110 hurdles. Heat one of two. In lane one, Robert Tyus of Crestview. Lane two, Brendan Swackhammer of Spencerville. Three, Evan Sowers of Crestview. Four, Ethan Woodruff of Allen East. Five, Deacon uh, Colbertson of Allen East. Sorry about that. And in six, rather seven, Alexander Hefner of Lincoln View. Our leader right now, you got him in lane three. Swackhammer of Spencerville, and he's got it in heat one of two. He two of two in the boys 110 hurdles. Here's who we have in lane one, Braylon Barrientes of Columbus Grove. Lane two, Jace Brecht, who finished fourth last year. He's from Lipsick. In three, Cody Ricker of Lincoln View. Lane four, your defending champion, Jackson Brown of Ada. Lane five, Leighton Blankemeyer of Columbus Grove, who finished third last year. Lane six, Carson Cruzy of Bluffton, finishing second last year. In seven, Kyle Basil of Bluffton. And in lane eight, Julian Gross of Ada. They are off and they are going. And Take a look at Cruzy from Bluffton, as well as Brown from Ada. It's Brown from Ada ahead of everybody else. Oh, so smooth, so focused, just gliding over those hurdles and making it to another NWC championship. We're moving now to event number two. May seem confusing. We were at 14, but now we are to event number two. This is the girls 100 meters. Heat one of two in lane one, Carmen Hall of Ada. Lane two, Leah Sowers of Crestview. Lane three, Amaya Huff of Columbus Grove. Lane four, Jordan Smith of Ada. Lane five, Lexi Reynolds of Lipsick. Lane six, Sadie Tarpley of Bluffton. And in lane seven, Lydia Payne of Allen East. Actually, we've only got six runners here, so it looks like we don't have Lydia Payne of Allen East. We do have Jordan Smith of Ada. She is leading the pack in this heat, and she is your winner of Heat 1. Heat 2 of 2 in the girls' 100-meter dash. In lane 1, it's Aubrey Young of Allen East. Lane 2, Maya McDougal of Bluffton. Fifth place finish last year. In lane 3, Liv Lindemann, who we just saw win the hurdles. She finished second in this race last year. Lane 4, Nakia Kimmett from Delphus Jefferson. Both Lindemann and Kimmett are from Delphus Jefferson. She finished fourth last year. Lane five, Audra McMichael of Spencerville. Lane six, Allison Thompson of Columbus Grove. Lane seven, Lillian Strayer of Spencerville. And in lane eight, Morgan Apple of Lipsick. The wind just continues to be strong out here. Not really sure what that's doing for the runners down below. It's not in a condition where it probably would aid them a lot because of the way the wind is, but there definitely are some major bursts. Lane five, Audra McMichael from Spencerville is your champion. 
You're watching the Northwest Conference Championship Meet at Bluffton University. Our broadcast is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. In the boys, 100 meters, heat one of two. Lane one, Kyle Basil of Bluffton. Lane two, Marquise Williams of Lipsick. Lane three, Braxton McMichael of Spencerville. Lane four, Trevon Baxter of Columbus Grove. Lane five, Liam Putnam of Crestview. Lane six, Trey Hensley of Allen East and lay seven, lane seven, Quinn Westhoven of Lipsick. This is heat one of two, but I tell you, there are some powerhouse runners in this heat. Looking at Trey Hensley there in lane six. He is flying down this track. Those neon green spikes are across the lane first, and Trey Hensley is your winner in this heat. Heat two in the boys' 100 meters. In lane one, it's Zach Zerby of Spencerville. Two, Jackson Brown of Ada. Three, Jackson Friesner of Allen East. Four, Griffin Stackhouse of Bluffton. Five, Kellen Putman, uh, Putman of Crestview. Six, Logan Jolliffe of Ada. Seven, Boston Reynolds of Delphus Jefferson. And in lane eight, Keegan Bame of Columbus Grove. So we just got a burst of wind before that gun went off. The sun just came out, and Bluffton's Griffin Stackhouse is leaving no questions of what his plans were for today. Griffin Stackhouse finishing first in this heat in the boys' 100 meters at the NWC Conference Championship. Time now for the 100 meter dash seated. We have one competitor today. It's Megan Hurston of Delphus Jefferson. She is a junior. Her seat time coming in is 28 seconds flat. She is working to best her seat time. Be sure to be watching for Megan Hurston all the way to the state meet. I certainly hope that we get to see her there again this year. The crowd is clapping for her as she nears the finish line. And she's done it. Megan Hurston of Delphus Jefferson in the 100 meter dash seated. This is the 2024 Northwest Conference Track and Field Championship meet in Bluffton. Sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. This is the girls' 4 by 200 meter relay. It is event number 20. In lane one, we have Ada. Lane two, Lincoln View. Lane three, Allen East. Lane four, Columbus Grove. Lane five, Spencerville. Lane six, Bluffton. And lane seven is Lipsick. Top seed time coming in is Columbus Grove in line four with a 148.08. Clean start by all. They are off and they are going. Good start for Allen East there in lane three. Watching Columbus Grove in four and Spencerville in five. Those are your top three seed times coming in. Let's take a look at the handoffs to figure out where we are. And it looks like that may be Allen East who had that first handoff. And that Allen East runner already challenging but not being beaten by Columbus Grove. Out there in lane six as well. A nice run going on by Bluffton right now. Columbus Grove taking advantage of that straightaway as she is getting ready to hand off to that third runner. And Grove gets the handoff first as the third runner makes the way around the curve. Now, if you're going to get aided by the wind right now, it's probably going to be on that curve, which way the wind is going. Um, we have some pretty intense bursts of wind that come and go. And then the runners who are going to be on that last curve are going to be directly into the wind. And the anchors now have the, relay, uh, the baton and Columbus Grove doing what they intended to do from the start, running away with this race. Take a look at that Columbus Grove anchor as she makes her way into the straightaway. 
barreling down the track. Currently in second place, it's Allen East, but watch out for Spencerville, who is aiming to try and pull that second place spot. It's Columbus Grove with the champion, and who is gonna get second place? It looks like it might be Spencerville. We'll have to check out the results. Event number 19, it's the boys four by 200 meter relay. In lane one, Lincoln View. Lane two, Spencerville. Lane three is Crestview. Lane four, Allen East. Lane five is Bluffton. Lane six is Columbus Grove. Lane seven is Ada. And in lane eight, it is Lipsick. Always so much fun every single year to watch these teams race against each other. Such great competition. You know, we're probably going to see several of these teams, these relay teams down at state would be my guess. And here we have some of the top runners in the entire state competing against each other in this conference meet. Runners, stand in your lanes. Top seed is in lane four. That's Allen East with a 132.32. Right next to them is Bluffton with a seed time of 132.56. Columbus Grove and Crestview both come in with seed times in the 133 range. Brothers, take your mark. Kept them uh, a little bit longer than I would have expected to get them going, but we do have that race going now and already taking a bit of a lead as that's lane four and lane five, Allen East and Bluffton. As I said, those were the two that we're really watching here. And now we're going to watch that handoff. And it's Bluffton right now with the start. Bluffton in lane five, Allen East in lane four, Crestview in three, and Columbus Grove in lane six. Columbus Grove taking advantage of that curve and this straightaway. Here we are watching the handoff again to see who is where. And Bluffton is the first to get the handoff. Columbus Grove is second. Allen East close on that handoff, but they got it going and now they are making their way around. Bluffton's third runner has now passed Columbus Grove runner. Big strides down the straightaway, but don't count out what we're seeing happening over there in lane four. Alan East just handed off to Trey Hensley. We saw him finish second place in the 100 not long ago. Bluffton is Trey's going to have to chase him down, as well as Crestview. What a finish we've got going on right here. Bluffton strong in the lead. Hensley from Allen East holding off Crestview to give his team second place, and Crestview finishes third. We're moving now to our first distance race. This is the girls' 1,600 meters. The NWC Track Championship is sponsored by Lee's. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. In the field of the girls' 1,600, we have Sarah Camphouse from Columbus Grove, Kendall Hoffman of Lincoln View, Brindley Moody of Lincoln View, your defending champion from last year, June Essinger from Bluffton, Nora Matthews from Bluffton, Lily Montgomery of Columbus Grove, Anna Gardner of Crestview, Caitlin Braun of Spencerville, Isabel Carmen of Allen East, Lydia Damascio of Al Ada, Aubrey Utzler of Spencerville, Kaya Heinbaugh of Allen East, and Caitlin Antis of Crestview. Four laps around the track. Ladies almost halfway through their first lap. And you see a bit of a, a group right there in the front. The results of the girls About 10 ladies there that are relatively close to each other. It's always interesting to see the different um, racing strategies that happen in this race. Four laps around the track. Some like to get out with the pace right away. Other ones realize, I'm going to just let others pace me, and then I'm going to make my move when it's time to make my move. Your defending champion, 
Brinley Moody, currently there in second place. Columbus Grove runner is currently in the lead. Brinley Moody, a sophomore, did qualify for state last year. One lap down, and we still have quite the group up there in the front. Sun has just come out. What we're experiencing here is a lot of wind. A lot of wind bursts, this actually, is, is what happening. It's, it, it, uh, you might even be able to see in the end zone. Uh, you can see the flags flying. We actually saw one of the tents get lost because of a burst of wind. How is that running for the ladies here? Well, they are down at the bottom. We are way up top, so we're getting the brunt of the wind, but they're definitely still probably feeling that wind. All right, we're starting to see a little bit of movement happening here on this back half of the track. People like to think about the 1600 as a long distance run. And of course, if you're a sprinter, you probably don't even want to imagine this race. But four laps around the track happens pretty quickly. So these girls really have to be thinking, strategizing what they want to do. They don't want to get boxed in. They don't want to get stuck having to um, pass on the edge, which we're seeing a little bit of it that might be happening out there. Columbus Grove still is your leader. We've got Bluffton in second right now. Lincoln View in third. Bluffton making her move there, moving up into fourth. Columbus Grove in fifth and Lincoln View in sixth. We are halfway done with this race. Lily, Lily Montgomery from Columbus Grove finished in third place last year in this race. Sarah Camphouse also from Columbus Grove finished fourth in this race last year. Brinley Moody of Lincoln View finished in first place. June Essinger from Bluffton finished in fifth place. Nora Matthews from Bluffton is only a freshman. However, she won this race last week at the Ada Invite. As we're watching these ladies move along, I just want to remind you that the WOSN channel stream is available. You can stream the WOSN channel anytime, anywhere for only $8 per month. Download from Roku or Apple TV or sign up at app.wosn.tv. Did you also know that WTLW is also available on Roku? You can find that in your Roku store. You will need to fill out the information, just follow the prompts, then you'll go to your email, get your confirmation code, and you will add that in, and you can also add WTLW to your stream. All right, take a look at what's happening here. We have Bluffton and Lincoln View runners have moved pretty strongly into that top level thing, and here goes Brinley Moody. Now, one thing I have loved watching Brinley do, I watched her do, her last year, her do this last year as a freshman, now as a sophomore with another year of running wisdom under her belt. She just tucks in, she just goes along with the flow until she is ready to make her move, and we saw her make that move. Take a look at Brinley Moody, make her way around. So we got Lincoln View in first place, we got Bluffton in second place. Taking a look at these Bluffton runners, I would say that Bluffton has a great future in distance running here. And it is Lincoln View and Bluffton, one, two right now. Love watching the strides of both of these young ladies as they get ready for the final 200. And Brinley Moody, is going to need to take off right now if she wants to keep that first place. And she's doing exactly what she knows she needs to do. A little bit more than 100 left to go, fighting the wind right now in their face. Both of these ladies, here we go, into the straightaway. It's Lincoln Views, Brinley Moody, the sophomore from the sophomore from Lincoln View, rather, going to repeat as your NWC champion in the girls' 1600 meters. Bluffton will finish in second. Jumping right into the boys' 1600 meters, 17 runners will be on this field. We have Ethan D'Souza of Ada, Maddox Norton of Lincoln View, Luke Ellerbrock of Columbus Grove, Levi Bryan of Columbus Grove, Evan Johns of Lincoln View, Theo Andreas of Bluffton, Connor Gierva of Lipsick, Tanner Braun of Spencerville, Calvin Durstein of Bluffton, Peyton Scott of Crestview, Carson Schroeder of Lipsick, 
Carson Gunter of Delphus Jefferson, Caleb Thomas of Crestview, Sam Gokey of Spencerville, Jaden Kovalt of Allen East, Dakota Gossman of Ada, and Kiriako Early of Allen East. Luke Ellerbrock finishing second place in this race last year. Luke already right there in the lead. He comes into this race almost 20 seconds ahead of the next runner with the seed time. And Luke has just had such a standout year, really been great to watch him run. We watched him uh, win, win his races last week um, at the, the PCL meet. And already here he is just setting the stage and deciding what kind of run he wants to make. So there's a senior, Luke Ellerbrock from Columbus Grove, currently in the lead. Who else do we have here? We have Lincoln View. Bluffton and Columbus and the other Columbus Grove runner second third through fourth places right now four laps around the track and these guys are finishing their first lap as we're watching them run I'm going to give you an update on our scores that we have right now at this point in the meet in the girls, in ninth place, it's Lipsick. Eighth place is Crestview. Ada's in seventh. Allen East is in sixth. Delphus Jefferson currently fifth. Lincoln View is in fourth with 43.33. Spencerville is in third with 43.83. Bluffton in second place with 84. And Columbus Grode is leading with 87.5. In the boys at this point, of course, not including the 1600 right now, which is still going. In ninth, it's Delphus Jefferson. Eighth, Lipsick. Seventh, Crestview. Sixth, Ada. Fifth, Allen Allen East, fourth Spencerville, third Lincoln View with 50 points, second Bluffton with 62, and Columbus Grove with a strong lead in 80 points. Luke Ellibrock from Columbus Grove getting ready with an idea to add more points to that lead for Columbus Grove. Those Bulldogs leading right now, and he is clearly leading at the moment with two laps to go. Second place at the moment is Lincoln View. Third place, Columbus Grove. Fourth place is Bluffton in the boys' 1,600 meters. Taking advantage of the back stretch here, I've talked a lot about the wind that we've been experiencing and we do not see the runners putting their heads down, which indicates to me that the wind is not necessarily barreling them in the face a whole lot. Where it might hit them, based on what I'm guessing, on how I'm feeling the wind, is right there on that curve where you see Luke right now. That would be the point where the wind potentially is going to be the strongest. We really do have some strong bursts of wind uh, that so far we haven't really seen a whole lot aiding uh, not, not really aiding our sprints at all. Uh, the, the times are not dropping inten intently at all. In fact, in several cases, we're seeing times a little bit higher than the seed time, which would suggest the opposite with the wind. You saw Luke look back there just for a moment, checking to see potentially who was behind or just how much, how much room he has here as we're now in this final lap. We're going to watch Luke Ellibrock pick it up. His teammate has moved into second place, and the Bluffton runner has moved into third place with Lincoln View currently in fourth. That'd be a big boost for Columbus Grove to go 1-2 in the 1600. Luke's continuing just to be really, really strong. But Jacob, if you can move over to our second and third place runners right now, as you can see what's happening at the moment, that Bluffton runner, smart guy, knows the right time to pass is on the straightaway, and he has taken advantage of that straightaway to move himself into second place. But Columbus Grove's runner is not necessarily ready for that. You saw him really try just in a moment to, uh, to pick that up, but your Bluffton runner was ready to pick it up as well. All right, let's head back over to Luke Ellibrock, who is breaking his way in, running his way to an NWC championship here in the 1600. One more look back. When you're this far ahead of everybody else, you have an opportunity to do that kind of thing. Luke Albrock's going to cruise his way into the win. Meanwhile, it's going to be Bluffton finishing in second place, and Ellerbrock's teammate from Columbus Grove is going to get third.
Our next event is the girls 4x100 meter relay. The NWC Track Championships title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. One lap around the track, four runners. It's the girls 4x100 meter relay. In lane one, we have Lincoln View. Lane two, Delphus Jefferson. Lane three, Allen East. Lane four, Columbus Grove. Lane five, Bluffton. Lane six, Spencerville. Lane seven, Lipsick. And lane eight, is Ada. We're watching Grove in four with a top seed time of 51.48. Bluffton next to them in five has a 51.8 and Spencerville in six comes in with a 51.93. Spencerville in six was the first to hand off after that first leg. Bluffton in five was the second one. Spencerville really, that, that runner taking advantage of that straightaway. But it looks like Grove in four may have had the first handoff. It was pretty close. Take a look at that runner from Columbus Grove. First to hand off without a doubt at Columbus Grove pushing her way, the real anchor, pushing her way towards an NWC championship. Out there in lane two, it's Delphus Jefferson with the second place finish. Moving now to the boys, four by 100 meter relay. There are two heats. We're going to bring both of them to you, and this is heat one. In lane four, it's Spencerville. Lane five is Lincoln View. And in lane six, it is Lipsick. Spencerville comes in with the top seed time of 45.76, a seed time that just barely missed them getting into that fastest heat. Very, very close to the other seed times in part of in that second heat. This is the race that is so much about starts and handoffs. Starts and handoffs are key elements to this race. And as these runners make their way to that first start, it looks like it's Lipsick who had that first handoff, but your Spencerville runner moving really well down that straightaway and is getting ready to hand off to the third runner. And right now it is Spencerville that has taken the lead in this heat. And as a reminder, these are all timed finals, which means you can make it into the placements in an earlier heat just based off of your time. We saw that happen in the boys 100 meters where Trey Hensley finished in second place based out of the first heat. We don't know what Spencerville's time is, but we do know that they are the winners in heat one of two in the boys 100, four by 100 meter relay. Heat two of the boys 400 meter relay, lane two is Ada. Lane three, Delphus Jefferson. Lane four, Bluffton. Lane five, Columbus Grove. Lane six, Allen East. And lane seven is Crestview. As is so often the case, Bluffton and Columbus Grove battling it out on paper here. Bluffton slightly with the advantage of a 44.37 seed time over Columbus Grove's 44.5. First handoff is clean and moving. And Allen East out there in lane six. I was going to say that Allen East had the first, um, the first handoff, but I would say that it was Columbus Grove right now. Looks to me like that might be Trenton Barraza. You've got a better view than I do because I'm way up top of the press box and you've got the zoomed in view. But what I can see and what you can also see is Grove is winning, but Bluffton is moving and Bluffton takes over with the lead. Grove second and it looks like it's Allen East third, but we'll have to look at the results to know for sure. Our next race is a girls 400 meter dash. This is the second heat and we have in lane one, Kendall Coyle of Lincoln View. Lane two, Bree Clawson of Columbus Grove. Lane three, Lena Smith of Spencerville. Lane four, Jade Roeder of Columbus Grove, who's in a second last year. Lane five, Jordan Smith of Ada, who finished third. Lane six, Lillian Strayer of Spencerville. Seven is Lauren Durth of Bluffton and eight is Grace Ross of Crestview. Raider from Columbus Grove, your top seed time coming in with a 101.43. 
distance is just one lap around the track. If you've listened to me on any of my broadcasts before, you know, I always talk about how there are basically two different methods on how to run this race. There's the all out sprint, or there's the method of the reverse split, meaning that second 200 is gonna be faster than the first 200. So you can never really count people out who might appear to be behind at that 200 race, because if there are reverse split runners, then you're gonna see some big changes at that point, which is really what I think I saw in lane one. That lane one runner really picked it up there once she hit that 200 mark. Well, the one who is really picking it up from the beginning and continues to keep that pace going is in lane four. It's who we said had the top seed time coming in. Jade from Columbus Grove. She's making her way down the straightaway, pumping those arms really, really strong. Moving into second place over there in lane six, it's the freshman from Spencerville, Lillian Strayer. Columbus Grove finishes first, Spencerville is second, and Ada finishes in third. Boys, 400 meters, here we go. This is heat two of two in lane one. It's Hayden Perrot of Crestview. Lane two, Caleb Denman of Lincoln View. Lane three, Noah Stewart of Spencerville. Lane four, Trenton Barraza of Columbus Grove. Lane five, Ison Schaefer of Allen East. Lane six, Gavin Bogart of Bluffton. Lane seven, Brody Erickson of Ada. And in lane eight, Jared Holland of Columbus Grove. Trenton Barraza comes in with a seat time of 51.60. Ison Schaefer to his right, 51. 0.87. Those are your top two seed times in this race. And we see Barraza doing his thing right there, making up some stagger on the straightaway as these guys not only head into their final 200, but also head into the headwind that continues to ravage this race. Um, we're not seeing a whole lot of time drops, still seeing some great times, but really, really strong wins, just as was predicted. Here's actually not what we predicted, folks. I mentioned Ison Schaefer and Alan East, don't count him out, but look what's happening right now. Gavin Bogart, the hometown runner, facing off with Trenton Barraza, and at the tape, we're gonna have to take a look at the results and see who won that one in the boys 400 meters Bluffton and Columbus Grove battling it out to the end. Our next race is the girls 300 meter hurdles. Our NWC track championships is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Walpock, Delphus and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken where home style happens here. In lane one, we have Morgan Apple of Lipsick. Lane two, Mariah King of Ada. Lane three, Aubrey Burkholder of Bluffton. Lane four, Rylan Jones of Allen East. Lane five, Liv Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson. Lane six, Kendall Palti of Columbus Grove. Lane seven, Grace Fletter Johan of Spencerville. And in lane eight, Lauren Halker of Columbus Grove. Delphus Jefferson's Liv Lindemann was the champion in this race last year with Rylan Jones coming in second place last year. In this particular race, Rylan Jones comes in with your top seed time, 46.09, and Liv Lindemann's top seed time is 46.29. So these ladies are literally point two apart from each other. Well, we are seeing Rylan Jones really show what she has become capable to do this year. It's really been a lot of fun to watch her in her uh, in her improvements and everything that she has been uh, accomplished, everything that she has been doing. And there we go, Ryland Jones with the win. Noticing Liv Lindemann is just uh, finishing up just slowly behind there. Hopefully Liv Lindemann is doing all right. Ryland Jones, your winner from Allen East in the girls 300 meter hurdles. Our next race is the boys 300 meter hurdles. We're getting ready for heat two of two. We just finished the girls 300 meter hurdles. You heard me reference Liv Lindemann. You saw her fall in that, uh, toward the beginning of the race. You may be thinking, Jennifer, why did you not reference that? Well, if you watch much of our track uh, broadcast, then you know we normally have two people here. Normally it's not just one voice. We typically have a play-by-play -play person and a color commentator. Well, today our color commentator wasn't able to be with us 
so I am solo, and that means I am reading names. Sometimes I'm reading names while the race is going, and unfortunately I did not see Liv Lindemann fall. But it, good news is she walked off the track, and we think she's doing all right. All right, we got Elijah Different from Bluffton in one, Carson Van Gorder from Spencerville in two, Julian Gross from Ada in three, Cody Ricker from Lincoln View in four, Leighton Blankmeyer from Grove in five, Carson Cruzy from Bluffton in six, Brock Shaver from Columbus Grove in seven, and Trevor McGue from Ada in lane eight. Got a tight race here as these guys are finishing it out, but right now it's Cody Ricker from Lincoln View who's curdling those hurdles first, battling it out for second place right now between Blankemeyer of Grove and Carson Cruzy of Bluffton. First place goes to Lincoln View, second and third, really close to call. Well, we're moving into the middle distance now, the girls' 800 meter run. And here are the ladies that we have competing in this race. Lane one, Brinley Moody of Lincoln View, your defending champion. Next to her is Ella Armstrong of Bluffton, Lexi Greer of Spencerville, and Delaney Neff of Allen East. In two, Nora Matthews of Bluffton. We just saw her run a really great 1600, finishing behind Brinley Moody. Next to Nora is Brooklyn Byrne of Lincoln View, Grace Ross of Crestview, and Grace Gokey of Spencerville who finished in this race second last year. Actually, actually, Grace is over there in lane three. She's in lane three next to Grace Mormon of Columbus Grove and Isabel Carmen of Allen East. And in four, it's Devaney Pingle of Columbus Grove, Lydia Damascu of Ada, and Addison Ross of Crestview. Two laps around the track. The ladies will remain in their lane assignments for the first 300 of this first lap. Talked a little bit about Brindley Moody's style of running. Now the 800 doesn't give you as much time to execute a running plan, only two laps around the track. But last year as a freshman, we really saw Brindley uh, utilize the idea of tucking in behind people and then busting out toward the end and really pushing through with a lot of extra energy. Gave her a lot of success last year and we're watching her again, even be a, I would consider her an even wiser runner this year than she was last year. So she's got talent and wisdom and a lot of strength going on. Grace Gokey was the runner up in this race last year. Now you see the ladies are making their way around and once again, we got Brindley Moody a little bit further back but she is not satisfied to be in that position. Hopefully, I'm not sure, Jacob, if you can see that in the camera right now, but we wanna make sure we see what's going on here as Brindley Moody currently is in fifth place in this race. They've got one more lap to go. And this race, this is a race that I ran back in high school and college, and it really requires a lot of mental strength, a combination of endurance as well as sprinting. And that's what we're going to start to see happen along the back straight away, getting close to about 200 to go. Interesting to see now Brindley Moody has moved her way into the third place spot, getting ready to pass Spencerville right now. And let's see what happens here in this final 200. Watch these ladies as they make their way around the track. And here she goes, Lincoln Views, Brinley Moody, continuing to run her style of race and now moves her way into the lead, racing her way to what appears to be a second championship in the 800. Watch Bluffton's runner take a look at Nora Matthews as she's making her way, trying to battle for that second place spot. Will she get it? Wow, look at that finish at the end. What a great 800 race in the NWC Championship meet. Well, the wind is strong again here at the NWC Conference Track and Field meet at Bluffton University. Our broadcast is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, found in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Lee's Famous Recipe. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. In the boys' 800-meter run, 
Here are our competitors. Lane one, Connor Baldoff of Lincoln View. Lane one as well, Bryce Boniface of Columbus Grove, Landon Sellhorse of Bluffton, and Owen Shoemaker of Bluffton, as well as Jaden Colvault of Allen East. That's all in lane one. Two is Creston Toe of Lincoln View, Logan Mershman of Columbus Grove, Peyton Scott of Crestview, Jacob Henson of Ada. In three, it's Mason Sellivore of Ada, A.J. Boop of Spencerville, Carson Schroeder of Lipsick, and Kiriako Earley of Allen East. And then in four, it's Mitchell Adams of Spencerville, Brenton Rodriguez of Crestview, Connor Grieva of Lipsick, and Tr Jacob Trentman of Delphus Jefferson. Top seed time coming in is Connor Baldoff of Lincoln View. Saw him take off pretty strong right there. And you can already tell that he he has a plan to get out early, and he is already doing that right now. Creston Toe, who was in uh, the second lane area, he comes in with a 201.2. So that's two Lincoln View runners, Connor Baldoff and Creston Toe, a senior and junior, come in with the top seed times. Fourth place, Grace Goki in Spencerville. Once they get past this curve, they're going to have a chance to move over into the first lane, and we're going to see an even better picture of who is where. And it is close between Baldoff and Toe, the teammates running next to each other nearly with Baldoff with the slight lead right now. It's interesting to watch. Baldoff had a different... Um, as he was walking up to the starting line, he was doing it different than everybody else. Everybody else was kind of walking up, jumping around, getting their muscles stretched. He had a specific routine of what he was doing with kicks and different things to do. And that's one of the things I've always noticed is stand out runners stick to what works and they're willing to do more than everybody else. Lincoln View runners continue to be the leaders here. This could be a nice big punch of points for Lincoln View. These two guys make their way around the track. Connor Baldoff and Creston Toe moving their way closer to that finish line. Wind has died down just slightly here. As the Lincoln View runners push their way toward the end. 800 run really, really takes so much stamina. You can see it on their faces as they finish thing up. One, two, Lincoln View. Our next race is the girls, 200 meters. Want to remind you that our title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. You can find them in Lima, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. This is event two of three, or heat two of three, rather. And in lane one, we have Tierra Penigua of Lipsick. In lane two, Reagan Dunlap of Lincoln View. Lane three, Leah Sowers of Crestview. Lane four, Aubrey Young of Allen East. Lane five, Jordan Smith of Ada. Lane six, Gracie Warren of Bluffton. And lane seven, Harper Rindell of Lincoln View. Clean start for all these ladies, 200. That is an important thing. And they're not just battling the normal uh, things that you have in a race. They've got the wind today as well. And the way the wind is hitting, it's really hitting right in that area. So really the 200 is probably one of the most affected races. Ada's runner right there, Jordan Smith. We've seen her with some great runs today. And she is going to run her way to victory in this heat. Jordan Smith from Ada is the winner in heat two. Heat three in the girls 200 meters. In lane one, Allison Thompson of Columbus Grove. Lane two, Lillian Strayer of Spencerville. Lane three, Audra McMichael of Spencerville. Lane four, Lauren Ockmoody of Columbus Grove. Lane five, Nakia Kimmett of Delphus Jefferson. Lane six, Rylan Jones of Ellen East. Lane seven, Maya McDougal of Bluffton. And lane eight, Naphtali Miller of Delphus Jefferson. Looks like we actually might be missing one runner. Looks like Maya McDougal of Bluffton is not in that spot. So we've got seven runners here. Lauren Ockmoody, your champion from last year, trying to make it a repeat. Can she hold on to the finish? 
It looks like she does, and it appears that second place goes to the sophomore from Spencerville, Audra McMichael. Our next race is the boys, 200 meters. This is heat two of three. We just saw the girls, 200 meters, and Lauren Achmoody was your winner, and I thought that Otter McMichael from Spencerville finished in second, but it was close, and it just shows you how the vantage point can be different than the results because she actually got third, and Nakia Kimmett of Delphus Jefferson finished in second. Hundreds of a second can change so many different things, so that was actually Lauren Achmoody uh, returning as your champion, Nakia Kimmett from Delphus Jefferson finishing in second and Audra McMichael of Spencerville finishing in third. Of course, you can see all of the meet results at Mile Split, Ohio. Boys 200 meters in heat two. Dean Trentman of Delphus Jefferson in lane one. Boat Thompson of Grove in two. Marquise Williams of Lipsick in three. Jace Lindemann of Delphus Jefferson in four. Zach Zerby of Spencerville in five. Jackson Friesner of Allen East in lane six. And Braston McMichael of Spencerville in lane seven. We got a battle going on right now between lanes three. Marquise Williams of Lipsick and Delphus Jefferson's Lindemann. And that's a close one. I think it's Lindemann according to my viewpoint. But we want to check and see what the results actually say so we know for sure. Heat three of three in the boys, 200 meters. In lane one, we have Jarrett Harding of Crestview. Lane two, Logan Jolliffe of Ada. Lane three, Kaiser Young of Bluffton. Lane four, Griffin Stackhouse of Bluffton, who comes in with the fastest seed time of a 22.48 seconds. In lane five, Jackson Brown of Ada. Lane six, Kellen Putman of Crestview. Lane seven, Grant Eversoll of Columbus Grove. And in lane eight, Trey Hensley of Allen East. Lane four, Griffin Stackhouse is leading, but you got some outside smoke with Trey Huntsman, or Trey Huntsman, sorry, Trey Hensley, but it's Bluffton's Stackhouse with the win. We've reached the point where it's the final girls individual race, and it's the longest race, the 3,200 meters, this NWC track championship has a title sponsor of Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe in Lima, Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Don't forget the all-new WOSN app. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken updates you with all area scores with the WOSN Scores app. Download the free app from Android or Apple stores or visit WOSN.tv. In this race, we have Lily Montgomery from Columbus Grove, Kaya Heinbaugh of Allen East, and your defending champion, Brinley Moody of Lincoln View. Also, Sarah Camphouse of Columbus Grove, Ava Milligan of Lincoln View, and Anna Gardner of Crestview. Anna Gardner finished second in this race last year. Caitlin Braun of Spencerville, Elizabeth Haunts of Bluffton, Kaylin Weasling of Bluffton, and Megan Miller of Spencerville. Brindley Moody comes in with a seat time of 1209.60. Sarah Camphouse, who is the first person that you see in that second lane of runners, she comes in with the second fastest seat time with a 211.95. This is eight laps around the track. See the girls jumping a bit down there. The wind has returned and the temperatures have dropped just a tad bit. So it's feeling a bit colder than it has earlier in the day for this meet. The results of the boys 200 meter dash in eighth place, Logan Jolla from Ada. As we watch these ladies make their way around, and we give you some updates on where we are as of right now with the team scores. In the women, in ninth place, we have Crestview, eighth place, Lipsick, seventh place, Ada, fifth place, tied for fifth place, is Delphus Jefferson and Allen East with 51. Lincoln View is in fourth with 67.33. Spencerville's in third with 91.83. Bluffton is in second with 118. And Columbus Grove is your leader with 151.50. In the boys, ninth place right now is Delphus Jefferson. Lipsick in eighth. Crestview with seventh. Allen East is in sixth. Spencerville and Ada are tied at fourth with 55.5. Lincoln View with 87. Bluffton with 97. And the Columbus Grove boys are leading with 130. 31 points. Quick
reminder to our coaches. Coaches, please listen up. Your awards are up here in the press box. So at the conclusion of the Well, we have a small group there in the front. The four box. runners. Your Brindley award. Moody, your returning champion, currently in fourth place. I'm going to say the same thing I've already said in multiple races. This is how she loves to run. She doesn't need to lead at the beginning. We certainly don't know what's going to happen in these next seven laps, but this is very typical for her. This is her style of running, just tuck right in, tuck behind these runners that she knows well, and run the race the way she wants to run her race. Her teammate is currently leading, and we've got a Cumble Club Cumble Columbus Grove runners for second and third place at the moment. Speaking of second, third, and even first place, let's give you some results that we've had from earlier today. In the girls' discus, hold on for a moment as I wait for these results to load. I am looking at them at Mile Split, Ohio. And here are your top five finishers. Fifth place, Sierra Studer from Allen East. Fourth, Jaden Bregg of Lincoln View. Third, Lizzie Suter of Bluffton. Second, Nicole Nesby of Columbus Grove. And your champion, throwing 1098, it's Rory Young Peter of Bluffton. Congratulations to Rory. All right, folks, we are nearing the last 100 of our second lap. And we're seeing this group grouping up even a little bit more. Starting to make some moves on the outside. It's a little bit, I won't call it risky, but anytime you have to do that, you're adding just a tiny bit of running time in. And we now see the two Columbus Grove runners who are now leading this race. So it's Grove, Grove, Lincoln View, Lincoln View with Brindley Moody just on the outside, making sure that she does not get boxed in. Six laps to go in this race. Let's take a look and see what the results are in the girls' shot put. In fifth place, it's Lizzie Suter of Bluffton. Fourth place, Beth Hughes of Lincoln View. Third place, Nicole Nesby of Columbus Grove. Second place, Kennedy Jones of Ada. And your champion, throwing 34-11 from Spencerville, is Briley Cook. In the girls' long jump, Fifth place, Grace Fletter-Johan of Spencerville. Fourth, Bryn Hawker of Columbus Grove. Third, Lauren Durth of Bluffton. Second, Sadie Tarpley of Bluffton. And your champion, Lauren Ockmoody. 15, 8.5. She's from Columbus Grove. Starting to see a little bit of spread here between these ladies. We've got Columbus Grove still in the lead with Lincoln View in second place right now. That'd be Sarah Camphouse from Grove currently leading. And Moody from Lincoln View currently in second place. Columbus Grove in third place, and Lincoln View currently in fourth place. Let's take a look at a few more results to share with you. In the girls' pole vault, fifth place, Becca Rem of Bluffton. Fourth, Maya Verhoff of Columbus Grove. Third, Lexi Greer of Spencerville. Second, Elena Mueller of Bluffton. And your champion, Lauren Ockmoody, jumping, or pole vaulting rather, 10-6. Columbus Grove getting 10 more points from Lauren Akmoody. In the girls high jump, fifth place finisher, Leah Sowers of Crestview. Fourth, Lydia Shoemaker of Grove. Third place, Mariah King of Ada. Second place, Kara Seaver of Lincoln View. And your champion, clearing four foot eight inches, Sadie Tarpley of Bluffton. Five laps left to go. We're gonna take a quick break and when we return, We'll see the last few laps and give you a few more results from the NWC Championship Meet here at Bluffton University. And we are back with two laps left to go. These two ladies have been running the same way the whole way with Brindley Moody just steps behind, rather one step behind Sarah Camphouse until now. And you see what just happened right there at that 800 mark. Brinley took off. She did the classic Brinley Moody running style and she's now doing what we've seen her do for two straight years. The Lincoln View sophomore has taken the lead as she takes advantage of the straightaway Increasing her stride just a tad bit, but obviously increasing her, uh, her speed enough to now move her pretty strongly ahead of Sarah Camphouse. That's Columbus Grove's Camphouse is currently in second. Moody's uh, teammate, Ava Milligan, is currently in third. And Camphouse teammate, Lily Montgomery, is currently in fourth place. Friendly Moody. Qualifying for state last year as a freshman, it's been a lot of fun to watch her. You know, when you see a natural talent in the distance races, you can 
so often um, recognize it right away in that freshman year and how fun it is to have a coach, a co for a coach, to know that they have four years to be able to, um, to, to hone that in. We just saw Brinley take her sunglasses up. She's getting ready to do her final lap here without the sunglasses. The bell rings, and now she takes off and is going to go. Sarah Campos from Columbus Grove still in a solid second place as uh, she is now lapping some of the competitors. A very common thing to happen in the 3200. My hat's off to any runner who is willing to run this race. Eight times around the, la around the track is definitely not an easy thing to do. All right, you're seeing Brinley increase her lead. What you may not realize is happening is the Columbus Grove runner who was in fourth has now moved into third. Lincoln View is still in fourth place. Straight away, back straight away for Brinley Moody as she is getting ready to run the last 200 of this race. Sarah Camphouse now increasing her stride. You probably can't see her right now because your camera view is on Brindley, our first place runner. But I'll give it up for Sarah Camphouse, who in this last race has uh, increased her stride on that straightaway. The exact right thing to do when you're running. Now it's time to give it everything that you've got. These ladies are in their final 200, and it's time to push it all the way in to the end. Brindley Moody gets a quick look back to see how far her competitor is back there. Still has her hands in a little bit of the scoop style fashion, which is so important when you are a uh, distance track runner. She is getting ready to claim another NWC championship in the distance races. Congratulations to Lincoln View's Brindley Moody, who is the winner of the girls 3,200 meters, and Sarah Camphouse of Columbus Grove will finish in second. The final boys individual race is about to begin. It's the boys, 3,200 meters in one. It's Levi Fenzel of Bluffton. Next to him is Ethan D'Souza of Ada. Luke Ellibrock, your defending champion, is next. Luke is from Columbus Grove. He comes in with a seed time of 9.24.74. And I want to mention that last year at this meet, he ran a 9.44.44. Of course, you've got wind situations and all kinds of things that could add time. But I think it's really stellar to see just how hard Luke has worked this year and how much he has achieved. Next to him is Evan Pitts of Columbus Grove with a 9.59.64 seed time. Theo, Theo Andreas from Bluffton is the next runner. Then there's Maddox Norton of Lincoln View. Tanner Braun of Spencerville. Xander Coyle of Lincoln View. Henry Lee of Spencerville. Connor Mickens of Lipsick. David Garcia of Lipsick. Jacob Henson of Ada. Cole Nisi of Allen East. And Brooks Petrie of Crestview. Boys, 3,200 meters. Now we've only got 10 boys and I read off 14 names. So we've got four guys who are not running in this race for some reason, could be all kinds of different things, but we got 10 runners and pretty soon we're gonna see them move over into that first spot and we will have Luke Ellibrock with the very slight lead as he makes that spot over. Something we saw last week at the, the uh, PCL championships, we're seeing again this year. Teammates are running next to each other. We got two Columbus Grove runners right there, Evan Pitts and Luke Ellerbrock. Obviously, they train together every day. They're very, very familiar with each other's running. And you've got those two as your current leaders. In fact, for a moment there, I think that they were synchronized running. Wouldn't that be something interesting considering how often they probably train together? Lincoln View runner is in third place right now. And then we've got Bluffton currently in fourth place. Ada is in fifth. And Spencerville, sixth, and then Lipstick making a move right now. Eight laps around the track. The two Columbus Grove runners running closely in sync with Luke Ellerbrock with the ever so slight lead as these guys now make their way around to their second lap. Let's take a look at some of the results that happened earlier in this day. We are looking at, well, we'll give you the four by 800 meter relay for the girls because those are the results I happen to have up on my phone right now in 
Second place, it was Columbus Grove, but your champion was Lincoln View with a time of 10.23.75. The team of Brooklyn Byrne, Ava Milligan, Kendall Hoffman, and Brinley Moody. In the boys' 4x8, which happened earlier today, it was it's actually about 11 o'clock this morning. Of course, this is Saturday. You're watching the Brewery broadcast on Sunday. But this is Saturday, Saturday 11 o'clock is when this happened. And the second place finisher in the boys 4x8 was Spencerville. The winner, Lincoln View, with an 831.76. The team of Creston Toe, Evan Johns, Maddox Norton, and Connor Boldoff. Luke Ellibrock, your leader right now. Last week, we saw a bit of the opposite. We actually saw his teammate leading most of the race. But right now, we've got that strong running style that Luke Ellerbrock has become well known for. Very focused, very direct. His head barely moves as he runs. He's very solid with his body type, and he just keeps things going consistently, consistent, consistent, consistently. Two Columbus Grove runners are in the lead, and the race for third and fourth is neck and neck right now between Lincoln View and Bluffton. Let's take a look at a few more results from the field events. In the boys' discus, we have in fifth place, Braylon Sugar of Bluffton. Fourth, Carter Orr of Spencerville. Third, Carter Setoff of Spencerville. Second, Landon Poling of Allen East. And your champion, Loudon Ockmoody, throwing 147.10 in the boys' discus. In the boys' shot put in fifth place, Caleb Bonifest of Columbus Grove. Fourth, Braylon Sugar of Bluffton. Third, Kylan Mayes of Columbus Grove. Second, Landon Poling and your champion from Lincoln View, 47.5.5. Stephen Smith in the boys' long jump. Your top five finishers, Deacon Jones of Allen East in fifth, Warren Mason of Lincoln View in fourth, Bo Thompson of Columbus Grove in third, Grant Eversole of Columbus Grove in second, and your champion from Crestview, Jarrett Harding, jumping 20 feet, he is your champion. In the boys' pole vault, here are your top five finishers. Tucker Hazelton of Ada in fifth. Caleb Denman of Lincoln View in fourth. Parker Brown of Spencerville in third. Connor Amstutz of Columbus Grove in second. And his teammate, Trevin Baxter, Javon Baxter, jump up, clearing 13 feet to be your champion in the boys' pole vault. And in the boys' high jump, Top five finishers, Xander Coyle from Lincoln View, Kyle Basil of Bluffton in fourth, Noah Bricker of Bluffton in third, Jace Brecht of Lipstick in second, and Jared Holland of Columbus Grove clearing six foot, two inches to be your champion in the boys' high jump. Earlier, I also gave the um, girls' field events but missed the girls' high jump, so here you go. In fifth place, it was Leah Sowers of Crestview, fourth, Lydia Shoemaker of Columbus Grove, third, Mariah King of Ada, second, Kara Seaver of Lincoln View, and your champion clearing four foot eight inches Sadie Tarpley of Bluffton while well, we are watching Luke Ellerbrock the senior from Columbus Grove running his final 3200 race as in the Northwest Conference track and field championship meet I wouldn't be surprised if he runs this race again a few more times but right now he is your clear leader he's got a few more laps to go we're going to take a break and we come back we'll finish up this race and we are back. Luke Ellibrock is still the leader, and he has 800 left to run. Two laps to go. We watched him start to pick up his pace when he was about uh, 100 left before that, that two can hardly talk folks the wind and everything I've got hair flying all over my face if only you could see it's not affecting Luke Ellibrock though you can see his race just continues to get stronger the record coming into this is a 936.38 Luke's seed time is a 924.74 but wind is definitely a factor the wind is strong and the wind in your face would definitely be strong but Luke's running continues to be very very strong as well watching him stride out out so well here as he makes his way on that back curve getting close to just having about 500 to go so a tiny little look over his left shoulder you can do that when you're this far ahead his teammate is currently in second place guys are really spread out a lot a lot of ground between first second third and fourth place Luke Ellibrock now he has just a little bit over one lap to go and as he 
gets ready to finish that lap. We'll give you an update on where we stand right now in the team scores. In the boys, Delphus Jefferson is in ninth. Lipstick is in eighth. Crestview is in seventh. Spencerville is in sixth. Allen East is in fifth. Ada is in fourth. Lincoln View is in third with 87. Bluffton is in second with 111. Columbus Grove is currently winning with 136 points. In the women, with the only race left to go is the 4x4, four four, we have Lipsick in ninth, Crestview in eighth, Ada in seventh, Jefferson and Allen East tied for fifth with 51, Lincoln View in fourth, Spencerville in third with 94.83, Bluffton in second with 121, and Columbus Grove winning with 165.50. All right, here he is. You're watching his final NWC 3200 race of his high school career. Still has a great postseason left in store for him and probably is going to have some great college running to happen as well. But Luke Ellerbrock on the straightaway, making his way toward the finish line here. And everyone is clapping for him as he pushes his way into victory. And now for our final girls event of this race, of this meet rather, the final race of the meet, the girls four by 400 meter relay. This will be one heat. Our NWC Track Championships title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Would you like me to call your business name out in our upcoming track meets? We're going all the way to the state meet, and it's a great opportunity for you to get some business recognition and support an incredible cause. Contact our sales department at 419-339-4444 and inquire about sponsorship opportunities for track meets this season leading up to the state meet and including the state meet. All right, girls, 4 by 400 here's who we have in the race. In lane one, it's Crestview. Lane two is Ada. Lane three is Lincoln View. Lane four is Columbus Grove. Lane five is Spencerville. Lane six is Bluffton. Lane seven is Lipsick. And lane eight is Allen East. Top seed time coming into this race is Columbus Grove. They are in lane four. Their seed time is a 4.12.47. Next to them in lane five is Spencerville with a seed time of 4.16.87. Runner, stay in your lane. Take your mark. Quite a few of these runners started without the blocks. You see a little bit of everything in the 400. Well, basically, you see one of two things. They either start in the blocks or they don't start in the blocks. Typically, it's your middle distance runners who choose not to start in the blocks. Well, that is done and gone. Now we're looking at this straightaway. Who are, or how are these girls doing as they are running down the straightaway? Take a look at lane four. Your Columbus Grove runner has made up some stagger as she is down to about 200 left to go. Spencerville right next to her in lane four appears to be currently in second place. These ladies will stay in their lanes for this full first lap. Columbus Grove trying to hang on to that first place spot, but the Spencerville runner is pushing hard on this point. Spencerville will hand off in second place. Columbus Grove will hand off in third. I take that back. Spencerville will hand off in third place. That's Ada that handed off in second place. The ladies just have to get around the curve. Once they get to those small orange cones, they can move their way over into first place. And we see that Columbus Grove has the lead right now as the second runner is back there on that straightaway. The Spencerville runner chasing her down, though. Second place there, and Ada is currently in third place.
Spencerville takes the lead now as the second runner makes the decision to pass on the curve, strong strides and strengthen her arms as she eyes that next runner and gets ready to hand off the baton. So we've got Spencerville in first, Columbus Grove striving hard for second, Ada is in third, Bluffton is in fourth, and Lincoln View is currently in fifth. Nice strong start for that Spencerville runner. High kick, good sprint moving on, but I gotta say the same thing for Columbus Grove as well, as now we're seeing Columbus Grove work to make up that distance. Not sure if it's going to happen. Spencerville still has that kick going, that sprinter kick taking on as she is getting ready for that 200 mark. You can see a coach next to her going, come on, come on, come on, come on, because knows that Columbus Grove is not going to give up and is going to try and regain that. The neat thing about the 4x4 is so many things can happen with each different runner. you got four girls running the 400, and every single leg can make things be a little bit different. Spencerville barreling in, strong strides moving towards the next uh, exchange. Columbus Grove tightening the gap just a little bit, but the next run is gonna have a little bit of work to do to make up some ground. Bluffton is currently in third place, Lincoln View is fourth place, and Ada has dropped to fifth. We got a race going on here, guys. Spencerville just gonna have to hold on to keep that lead as Columbus Grove is barreling down and trying to make the move. This is the time to make the move if you're gonna make the move on that back straightaway. Otherwise, you might get stuck having to do that on the curve and in the wind. Today, we've got an extra competitor called the wind. Kind of saw that in some of the times and that definitely can have an impact on the running. Oh my goodness, folks, this one's gonna come down to the final 100. Can Spencerville hold off? Can Columbus Grove pull ahead? Two different styles of running. Spencerville staying strong, Columbus Grove trying to run her down, but it's gonna be a Bearcat win in the NWC Championships, Spencerville will finish in first place with Columbus Grove finishing in second. Our final event, the boys 4x400 meter relay. In lane one, it's Lipsick. Lane two is Ada. Lane three, Bluffton. Lane four, Lincoln View. Lane five, Columbus Grove. Lane six is Spencerville. And lane seven, Crestview. Set. Top seed times coming into this race are in lane four, Lincoln View with a 332.44, and in lane five, Columbus Grove with a 333.55. Another reminder that in this race, your first runner stays in, stays in the uh, lane for the entire race. And right now we've got Columbus Grove in the lead and Lincoln View chasing down. As we mentioned, these are your top two seed times coming in. Let's take a look and see who hands off first. Looks like it might be Lincoln View. Oh, I just about tied. Lincoln View just by just a hair, slightly ahead. And the battle is on between these two runners. Almost to the point where these guys can make their way over to lane one. Lincoln View with a very slight advantage now as almost had to break stride. Columbus Grove had to break his stride to make his way over there because they were so close to each other. We got Bluffton in third place, not that far behind. You never want to count Bluffton out when it comes to a race like this. Spencerville currently is in fourth, and Ada currently is in fifth place. Wow, Lincoln View, strength in those arms and legs. He is increasing his lead as he gets ready to hand off. 
can tell he's just about had everything that he's got, and he gave into that race. Columbus Grove's next runner is going, and Bluffton, oh, just about had a had a collision there because Columbus Grove's runner did not get off quickly. Lincoln View in first, Columbus Grove in second, Bluffton in third, Ada in fourth, and Spencerville currently in fifth place. Oh, we're watching now. Watching the Columbus Grove runner take advantage of the reverse split option in the 400, at least how it looks to me. He just took off. Hey, that's Zane Steckschulde, I believe, has now taken the lead ahead of Lincoln View. Can he hold on as he passes off? Columbus Grove passes off in first. Lincoln View now in second. It's going to come down to these runners to see what happens. Bluffton passes off in third, and Ada is going to pass off in fourth. Columbus Grove still ahead. Lincoln View battling hard. Watch the straightaway because that Lincoln View runner knew right away he was going to stride out and move ahead, and that's what has happened. You can even see that long stride that he's taking advantage of that helped get him past Columbus Grove and get his team back into first place. Now Columbus Grove runner is going to try everything he can in this final 200, but man, that Lincoln View runner is strong. Moving into the final 100, the wind is blowing. You can see his hair flying as he is also flying toward that finish line. In the final race of the NWC Conference Track and Field Championship meet, Lincoln View is going to win first place. Columbus Grove is going to finish in second place. Here comes Bluffton. They're going to be in third place. And Ada is going to finish in fourth place. We want to remind you again that our title sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We're not done with our broadcasting in track and field season. We still have the postseason left to broadcast for you. Does your business want to be a part of it? Please give us a call at 419-339-4444 this week so you can find out about sponsorship opportunities. And I would love to call out your business's name in our upcoming track and field broadcast. Well, for Jacob O'Neill and everyone else from WOSN, I'm Jennifer Beck. We want to thank you for watching this broadcast of the 2024 Northwest Conference Track and Field Championship Meet in Bluffton. You're watching it on WOSN.